Hey guys, Shane from Monkey Around, and today we're on the side of the Uyoi River, and I'm hanging out with Billy from um, 12 Stones Adventures. Go over and check out his channel. He's got a pretty good channel. He's got some stuff going on. He does more of the backpacking. We're going to fix that. We're going to get him into kayak camping. We're working on it. We're working on it. But go check his channel out. Good stuff. The The video I want to do today, most of you guys know um, that I love my jet bull. So I got a jet bull laid out, but I've also got my GSI minimalist laid out because I want to try and play with that a little bit more and kind of see if I get a see what I think about that. But on Facebook, I follow a group called Yackers Galore. Do you remember? Yackers Galore. Yes, Yackers Galore. All right. Yep. They're a wild, crazy bunch of people, um, but they have fun and they love spending time on the river. And the other day, there was a post on there. Uh, they were talking about how you do coffee and there's a lot of different options you can do instant coffee are you a coffee drinker somewhat somewhat sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. I couldn't remember when we did the trip last time yeah, I'm more of a cappuccino guy oh <laughs> okay that's a whole other video so anyway um, the uh, the post was how do you do coffee well I'm gonna show you my setup I'm gonna talk about my setup and why I like it and what I do so let me whip up some coffee real quick and we're gonna do it with my GIS minimalist. I do that every time. You do that? Mm hmm. Every single time. Forget to. And then I have to untwist it off. Usually I, I catch it before I get too far. Yeah. And, uh. <laughs> That's how you do it right there. <laughs> you light the one that's got an igniter when you didn't bring a lighter. And I got a lighter in my truck, I didn't even bring it. So the way I do my coffee is uh I got to have coffee in the morning. And the topic on Facebook was how do you do your coffee? And I'm gonna show you how I do my coffee. Get a little water going. And of course the truck has to come by while we're doing it. This is GSI Minimalist. I like it because it all nests in that little small cup. And it's about half the size of my jet bull. Weight is probably about the same as my jet bull, but it's about half the size. So what I like to do, I get my water boiling, get it hot, get everything ready to go. And then I'll take, I love my commuter. Take a couple scoops. It's gonna be some good coffee. Let my water get the boil. And this is how I do it. And I switched away from the jet bowl just because I didn't want my food, the water that I was gonna heat my food up with, I didn't want my water tasting like coffee. And so I went away because Jet Bull makes a a coffee press that'll fit in all their stuff. It'll fit in, they make one that's a regular size and they make one that's a big. So it'll fit in, Billy, you got the what? That's the, the Jet Bull? Mini Mo. Mini Mo, okay. So they got one that'll fit, the, the Grande coffee press will fit in here and push it down. Now the problem is, now you got your cooking pot tasting like coffee. So I didn't like that. Right. So I went with um, the commuter and so far I've been pleased. I really like it, but I get my water boiling. Now this don't heat as quick as the jet boil does. Yeah. I got introduced to jet boil when, um, three years ago about, mm -hmm. when I went with, um, River King Pete and Brian, we did a trip on the Yak and, and basically we paddled um, on the Yak and down to where I live. Right. And we got out there at the house. We basically paddled from where uh, Kevin, the one electrician, lived down to where I lived on, on High Rock. And um, when we stopped at the island, there's an island that we slept on, and it's right there by the. Um, it's right there where 85 crosses the Yakin River. Mm -hmm. And so we, we pulled up right there and spent the night on the, um, on the Yakin. And it was a pretty good little setup. It worked pretty good. 
and I fell in love with a jet bowl because of that. Right. If I'd have done it right and not put the lid on, it's got a little koozie, glove, therm, whatever you call it, um, That's pretty neat. that'll hold it. So then I take my water and I will just pour that down in there and fill it up and let it boil or let it brew, let it simmer for a few minutes. And how I do my coffee is I take a little, take my commuter, kind of stir it up a little bit, let it boil down a little bit, let it brew up a little bit, whatever you want to call it. Let it get good and right. Because I ain't a fan of instant. Yeah. I just ain't a fan of. There's some decent instant coffee out there. But I ain't a big fan. So I let it sit there for a few minutes. Hit on it, put a little cream and sugar in it, bam. Then you take your top part, press it down. And it pushes all your grounds down in the bottom. And the thing about it, I like it, it's got a snap lid that closes up so you got your coffee cup like you got your coffee cup as you go down or a french vanilla cup whatever i mean <laughs> whatever you like to do but you got your coffee cup and then i could just take twist the lid off and now your coffee grounds is down in the bottom i hate drinking coffee with grounds mm -hmm. all in it drop me a little sugar and a little creamer cup with a built-in filter yeah. That's all it is. A little, mm -hmm. little built in filter. Take your little spoon. Screw your lid back on. And you're ready to hike down the trail, paddle down the river, whatever the case may be. You got your cup of coffee. Check out the GSI commuter. I'll put a link down in the uh, description below. I really like mine. I've had mine for. I don't know, probably about two or three years, two years probably, um, when I went away from doing it with the jet bull and using the jet bull press, I went with the commuter, and so far I like it. Um, the only other option I change is the GSI Infinity Mug. Have you seen those? Mm -hmm. They've got a, um, it's what I lost when I went on the James River last summer. It actually fell off my kayak as I was getting in the river. I had it sitting up top, ready to go. Oh, okay. And I knocked it off, and it floated through the first little rapid. And I was able to paddle down, snatch it up. Didn't have no river water on my coffee. It was pretty good. The only thing I don't like about them, I'll add a description down there below. Those are good if you're going to do instant coffee. If instant coffee is your thing, those are good. They take a beating, um, but you got to drink your coffee pretty quick. Because they, they're not, they're insulated about, they're insulated a little less than this. Mm -hmm. So they don't have a lot of insulation. So um, your coffee's gonna get cold pretty quick. I put some links in the description below. Go check out my man Billy's channel, 12 Stones Adventures. He's putting out some content and uh, we're gonna get him busy. He's gonna be doing a lot of adventures this summer. Don't worry, I've had a lot of people ask. Man, you'd be surprised. I've had a lot of people ask about the Get Your Paddles Wet trip. I've done one the past, 2017 was our first, then 2018, 2019. And now it's 2020. I've had a lot of people ask, what are you doing for Get Your Paddles Wet? Well, I'm working on something special. I'm working on something special for this trip. It's going to be a, we're going to be the first people on the river at this campsite if I can pull it off. If it'll stop raining in North Carolina. Where we're <laughs> sitting right now, last week, if you spin her, if, if I was to spin you around and show you, all this brush and everything over here. Where we're sitting last week, the Uari River was up to here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was pushing water through here pretty quick. We got a big old rain, a lot of flood, and then that kind of thing going on. So if the rain will stop, everybody say a little prayer that the rain will stop and hold off for a little bit, and they can actually build the campsites, we're going to get your paddles wet in um, early spring this year. And we're going to be uh, we're going to be kind of local to us right here in North Carolina. So. Sounds good. We're going to have some fun, and we'll see you on the next adventure.